Hello and welcome to this presentation on Netgear Ready Recover. In this presentation, we're going to take a look at how Ready Recover protects business and application data by blending best of breed storage technology and backup software into one appliance. At Netgear, we already talk about data protection a lot. We talk about the inbuilt data protection capabilities built into Ready Data. So, what I thought we'd do is we'd start a little bit on what Ready Data protects today. So, if we take a look, and this is a, a customer environment here in this diagram, we have servers and PCs and laptops, and they all store data on our Ready Data. So, maybe they store virtual machines on our Ready Data or files on our Ready Data. For that data, we already offer protections through one, a snapshot capability, and two, replicating that data and snapshots off site. So, anyone who's storing their business data on a Ready Data already has built in protection. So then as you can see here, if something goes wrong, then the data is still safe in an off-site location. So if a disaster strikes, uh, such as you know fire, flood, what have you, if you're replicating to a second ready data, your data is already safe. So what doesn't ready data protect? All of these servers and laptops and virtual machines have other disks associated with them. So they might, for laptops, have internal hard drives in them. Uh, servers might have internal hard drives in them, in which case, it's not on ready data. If you have a file that get, gets lost or a laptop that gets lost or a server that dies in your data center and the data is actually stored on an internal hard drive not on shared storage on a ready data then today we don't protect that. So we protect everything that's sort of in that square green box there today with ready data before the ready recover solution. How Ready Recover helps in this situation is it actually expands our protection. So we can actually protect all those virtual machines and PCs and laptops and servers and back them up to a Ready Data and replicate those backups to an offsite location. So now we've extended the protection capabilities of Netgear storage offerings to protect things that are outside of the Ready Data. And, and this is really compelling when you see uh, some of the strengths of the technology in the Ready Recover solution. So let's talk about what makes the Ready Recover solution really unique. Ready Recover creates full backups every 15 minutes forever. And that's a really big claim. We've had customers ask us. We don't really think that's possible, and it's a, it's a fair assumption to make. We've really co-engineered a great solution between the Netgear Ready Data and a product called StorageCraft Shadow Protect to deliver this technology that allows us to do full backups every 15 minutes. Really, the, the reason why that's a big claim is if my server is 10 terabytes, how are you going to back up and read 10 terabytes of data every 15 minutes. And the fact of the matter is we don't need to. We, we basically run incremental backup operations, and I say operations, uh, not incremental backups, because the backup itself becomes a full backup every time, even though all we need to do is back up incremental changes. So we back up incremental change data forever. Another strength is we verify those incremental changes as they're written in real time. A lot of backup software in the market today doesn't really trust storage and it will need to go and do check summing jobs and verification jobs and, and all these other processes. We don't need to do that. We use object-based RAID within Ready Data, which actually checksums data at the block level as it's backed up. So we never have to run maintenance tasks, which is why we can do this process every 15 minutes forever. And then, on top of that, every backup is a full restore point, which means we're backing up everything you have every 15 minutes in a very efficient way, but you can restore it as if each one was a full backup. So you can do every type of restore you would need in a disaster. If you lost uh, all your virtual machines or all your servers, the last 15 minute backup that occurred can completely restore it as it was 15 minutes ago. So these are the real uh, combined three strengths of this offering and this solution today. So essentially how it works is it's all about end-to-end -end integrity. The Shadow Protect software is really good at tracking reliably, which is the important word, changes that occur each 15 minutes. And the Ready Data is really good at storing reliably all those changes in such a way you're guaranteed to be able to restore it back. So in this diagram we'll see I do one big full backup operation. I 
of your servers and that is slow that takes time but every backup after that you'll see the green ones here uh, are incremental backup chains that take place after that and we can keep doing them forever the reason we can keep doing them forever and we don't force you to do another full backup is if there was ever a corruption if you look at the very bottom of this diagram then our checksum can repair that corruption uh, as it's read using self-healing technology built into the object-based RAID within ready data. So really backup vendors today who, who do say they do incrementals, generally at some point they'll tell you, oh, but once a month or once every two weeks, you're going to need to do a full backup again. We don't tell you that because we really uh, understand or we really have a trust relationship between what's being backed up and the fact that it will be able to be read. Whereas most backup solutions involve a software vendor who doesn't quite understand the storage they're writing to so that they can't trust it. They have to do an occasional full backup and start the process again. We never have to do that process twice. So we do one full backup and incrementals forever. And that's really what makes this solution unique. It's this, this stack of integrity that you see in this diagram. Okay, so now we're going to look at uh, a demo. Uh, before we do, I thought I'd show a diagram explaining what's going to happen here. We're going to do uh, a backup of a server, so we're going to configure the Shadow Protect agent on a server to back up to the ready data, and we're going to do a full operation. Uh, like I've mentioned in the previous uh, slides, we only ever do that full operation once forever. Every other operation after that is incremental. So we'll do one full plus an incremental and you'll see how quick it is that we can create that second full backup using the incremental technology and even more amazingly we will go to restore the data so you'll see that that second backup even though it was incrementally created is actually a full copy of all your data on top of that we'll then replicate off to a second ready data to get our backups off-site now one of the real strengths of this solution is that when we replicate the data just like it's incremental backup process forever that creates these full backups you can use incremental replication to get these full backups off-site to another location as well all right let's jump into the lab here I have a VMware environment so in this case we're going to back up uh, a virtual machine a virtual server using ready recover so we're going to back up this virtual machine here called RR demo server so we're going to back up this, this server to a ready data and then we're going to replicate it to a second one. So I have a ready data 5200 here. It's got uh, 12 disks installed. I'm actually already using this 5200 to, uh, to store uh, backups of the other virtual machines you see in my, in my vSphere environment. Um, so we're going to create just another job to protect this RR demo server. We'll run our first full and our incremental. And then what we'll do is we'll actually configure replication to a second ready data. So I actually have another ready data here. In this case, it's the ready data 516. So it's our six drive system. There you have it, six drives. So there you can see that's the replicas of the backups going to my 5200. All right, so with that, we'll, we'll get started. Uh, I'm going to log into this, uh, this 2012 Windows Server, and we'll we'll start we'll start the demo. Uh, what I'll do here is we've pre-installed the Shadow Protect agent, which is the tool that uh, essentially allows us to to grab those blocks from the server and back up to Ready Data. So I pre-installed that, and we're going to create a backup job. So let's click the backup button. I'll click next to start the process. And then the, the wizard is going to ask me, well, what do I want to back up? Well, I want to back up everything on this virtual server. Now, this virtual server is only 8 gigabytes in size, so it's very small, but it's a good demonstration of how the technology works. So from here, it says, well, backup destination, where do you want to back up to? Well, I want to back up to my ready data. So I select ready data from the Shadow Protect wizard, and then I put in the IP address of the ready data I'm going to back up to, and I click connect. Now the 
agent can see the storage we have. We have 14 terabytes free on that ready data. So we can choose to back up to there. I'm going to use the administrator account to run this backup, although I could have chosen another account to do the job. Okay, so from here I'll click Next. Now we get to the schedule. From here I can choose how often I want to back up. So in this case I'm going to do uh, around the clock backups and I'm going to do uh, every 15 minutes. So I'm going to go from 8 a.m. to 7.59 the next day and you'll see I get 96 backups per day, seven days a week. From here I can choose how long do I want to keep these different backup points, these restore points that I have to uh, recover data. Well, I'm going to keep a minimum of 100 backups at any given point in time, and I'm going to keep a maximum of 180 days worth of backups, so that's six months worth of backups in this case. Okay, so at this point I've finished the job creation. I'm going to actually execute my first full, my first and only full backup job and you can see the process is starting now. Now this will take a few minutes to run. It'll, it's eight gigabytes of data that are on this particular server. So it's a very basic install of, of a Windows VM. So a full backup is not, is not really a fun operation because it takes a lot of time. The strength of this solution is you only ever do one of these full operations, yet you get full backups forever. So what, I'm, what I'll do is I'm just going to fast forward through this. Um, you get the idea. This is a full backup running. Okay, so as you can see, my first full backup uh, just completed. Um, it took, uh, it took 2 minutes and 11 seconds. Like I said, in the real world, it takes a lot longer to do a full backup. The good news is this is the only full one we'll ever take. Um, if we just quickly go and have a look from ReadyData's perspective, so I actually have the, uh, the ReadyData UI open here. I can go into my, uh, my Shares tab, and uh, we'll, see, uh, we'll see all the backups that I have. You'll see now I have a, uh, a backup here called RR Demo Server. It has one backup. It's a total of 8 gig uh, when it comes to the size of that backup. It's only consuming 5.7 gig, so we, we get a compression saving on our first backup. Uh, it's not a massive saving, so you can see our savings ratio here is just 1 to 1, um, and the available capacity is 14.8 terabytes. You'll also notice that the ready data itself is aware of the agent health of the backup, so it will send you alerts when when something goes wrong. It, here's one agent which is offline, so the uh, the server's probably switched off. Um, so you can see that that the ready data will let you know uh, from the one appliance whether you have a disk issue all the way to whether the backup agent itself switched off. So now we've done our first full backup. Uh, what we're going to do is do our second full backup created by only incremental blocks and you'll see that it's very quick. Um, before I do that I'm just going to create some data which we can restore later on so I'm going to create a file called important okay there it is and I'm gonna put some data in it hello world uh, and I'll save that file now we're going to run our next 15 minute backup and you'll see why we can do 15 minute uh, forever now. So I'm going to click the backup process and uh, you're going to see that because only a small amount of blocks, just this one file has changed on our server since last time the backup ran, it's going to be very fast. Okay, that was a lot quicker than the first backup that we ran. Um, as you can see there, it took you know, a total of 21 seconds to back up uh, the whole system. Uh, so that's a lot faster than the, the two minutes it took uh, to do that first full backup. Uh, so you can see from this technology, being able to do these these faster incremental operations to create full backups is a very compelling way to to protect data. 
If we go back to the ready data perspective on this, uh, this is where things get really interesting when it comes to storage savings on ready data. We now have two full backups, which are a total of 17 gig in size. Each one's about 8 gig. Um, yet it's still only consuming about 5.7 gigabytes of space on the ready data itself. So you can see the efficiency is quite large. The, uh, the real uh, interesting part is when you come to do a restore. Now we support uh, individual file restore. So let's say we delete this file. We're going to restore it. Let's delete it now. And let's empty it from our recycle bin. So it's gone forever. So now it's gone, right? Uh, we can do individual file restore, which we'll, we'll do shortly. Uh, we can do hardware independent uh, operating system full restore of this whole virtual machine to any other platform. So even though this is a VMware virtual machine, we could restore it to Hyper-V or a physical server if we wanted to. So let's, uh, let's see what happens if we connect to the ready data to do a restore. We just type in the IP address uh, from Windows itself um, and you'll see it brings up a uh, a SIFS view of all of our backups. You can see there's RR demo server. That's the backup we've created. I'm going to put in my admin username and password here. Hopefully I got that right. Yep. And you can see there's two, uh, there's, sorry, there's a folder called completed backups. And within that, there's two full backups. So let's just take a look at each of them from a size perspective. So our, uh, our first back. Our, our backup here, which is our second backup, you can see is, is 8 gig in size. And you can see our first backup is also approximately 8 gig in size. So each of our backups that we do, even though we, we use an incremental process to create them, each of our backups is actually a full backup every time of everything on your system. If we took, take a look at them both collectively, we've got 17 gig worth of backup. If we take a look at what Ready Data was saying, it's saying, yep, we have 17 gig worth of backup, yet it's only consuming 5.7 gig of space. If you take a look at some of the other systems that I have been backing up over time, you can see your savings get very large over time, thanks to the fact that we only have to store the incremental blocks that change, even though you get a full backup every time. Okay, so let's do a restoration. So let's, uh, let's, let's, access both of these backups. So we did a, a backup at uh, five minutes past one. I'm going to go in. This is the C drive. You can see it's eight gig. Uh, I'm going to actually open that using the shadow protect agent here. And you'll, you'll notice that uh, it maps as a drive. So we're going to get an E drive here for our first backup. And what I'll do is at the same time, I'm going to I'm going to also access my second backup, which included that file. Oops, let me get this out of the way. I'm going to mount the second backup, which included that file that we created and deleted. And I'm going to mount that as uh, as a drive as well. So I can actually mount any of these backups, any of these 15 minute points in time, anytime I need to, to do a restore. So there we go, we've done that. That. So what you'll notice here is if I look at this, uh, this system, I now have my original C drive with 8 gig of data, as it is now. I actually have my first backup uh, mounted, and you can see it's, it's pretty much the same size as, as what we were protecting. And I have my second one mounted as well. So you can see all this data that we have, yet we're not consuming any of the space. If I go in and, uh, and I open up the first backup, I can go to uh, the desktop, the administrator's desktop, where we had that file. Well, actually, in the case of the first backup, we didn't have that file, so you can see there's no file there. Um, now, let's go into our second backup, that quick one that we ran, and we'll go into the administrator's desktop. And there you can see there's that uh, important file that we created, which was protected by the second backup. Uh, I can easily just restore that by dragging it back into my virtual machine here. And of course, just to confirm that it's legitimate, hello world. There we go. We've restored that file. So as you can see, we can do 15 minute full backups uh, of, of a virtual or physical server or even laptop. Um, 
and, and offer this great storage efficiency yet allow you to be able to restore full from full backups every 15 minutes. Okay, so that's enough uh, backing up and, uh, and, and restoring. What about replicating? Well, well, replicating these backups somewhere else is a good idea, as we know, because it means if something goes wrong in this location where this first ready data is, um, we have some, some off-site protection which will allow us to recover. Uh, replicating uh, is, is very easy on ready data to begin with, and we can use the, the ready data replication engine to get our our ready recover backups to a second device. So what I'm going to do is you'll see I've got existing replicate jobs on my ready data. I just go to the replicate tab. I can see all my existing replicate jobs. I'm going to create a new one uh, to get this backup, this this RR demo server backup to a second location. So you can see here's our on-site 5200 that we've been playing around with and my volume called backup. Here's the ready recover demo backup that we've been doing. I'm going to replicate that to my 516 by putting in its IP address and connecting to it. I'm going to select uh, which volume I want to uh, replicate to. Let me just double check that. So I'm going to replicate it to volume one where I keep all my ready recover backups. I'll give this replication job a name. Okay, I'm going to replicate my RR demo server backups off site and click next. What am I going to call the backup, the off site copy of this? I'm going to call it RR demo server as well. How often do I want to do it? I can do it continuously or periodically. Uh, either one of those is fine. Periodically probably makes more sense, but in this case we'll do continuously. Um, and when I click finish, the, uh, the replication of my backup sets that you saw in this demo so far will now start replicating off-site. Once again, the real strength of this is the fact that you'll only ever have to replicate that first full big backup once and then every other replication is just incremental. So the efficiencies that are gained by using the Ready Recover solution, the efficiencies that you get from, from saving space on storage, you also get by replicating to your second device in bandwidth savings. This concludes the presentation and the demo. For more information on Ready Recover or Netgear Ready Data, please reach out to your Netgear account manager or sales engineer who will be more than happy to provide more information on the technology.